Two new optics have been added to Panasonic's L-Mount line of 11 new expected lenses between now and the end of 2020. Introducing two new lenses for Panasonic Lumix full-frame cameras, the S-Pro 16-35mm f4 and the S-Pro 70-200 f2.8. Video on that one coming soon. These two lenses complete the S-Pro trifecta when you include last month's edition of the Lumix S-Pro 24-70 2.8 and just in time for the holiday shopping season. But today we're talking about your next wide lens, the 16 to 35 f4. Just like the other S-Pro lenses, the 16 to 35 has an all plastic body to keep down the weight. Unlike most of us this Thanksgiving. Don't let that throw you off. The image quality is superb. I've been playing around with this lens on a Panasonic S1, and this is a near perfect wide to medium zoom lens. Not only is it sharp, which I've fully come to expect from the S-Pro line of Leica glass, but the color replication is spot on. Just like its brothers, the 16 to 35 has a pull down focus ring and a zoom ring that has just the right amount of tension, offering smooth and slick but not too tight control when changing focal lengths. What surprised me the most, however, was the 16 to 35 when paired with the Panasonic S1 autofocus. It actually works, well, well. Now this could be a benefit of Panasonic's newest firmware update from this past summer, or it could be just that the 16 to 35 f4 is that fast focusing, but I was very pleasantly surprised to see snappy and accurate autofocus when I tweaked the S1's custom autofocus settings to my liking. Now I understand that some people might be turned off by an all plastic lens housing, but I personally like the build quality of the S Pro line so far, and the 16 to 35 feels solid and sturdy. It's also slightly lighter than competing lenses in its class and that makes it attractive for gimbal shooting and handheld work. The only downside I see to this lens is its maximum f4 aperture. But if you're not dealing with a whole lot of low light situations, this shouldn't concern you too much. You'll be getting a lot of light into that baby at 16 millimeters, so that helps when you're shooting wide open. So overall, the 16 to 35 is a compact but powerful lens, and if you're looking to cover that mid to wide focal length range in pairing with the 24 to 70 and or the 70 to 200 to 8 lenses, this is probably the best option for consistent quality. So let us know down in the comments what you think about this lens so far, and also be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified when new gear drops here at Adorama.